NHL 19 is not a perfect game. One simple Google search will give you a lot of results for all the issues that you want to find. Whether it be ESHL locker room issues, goaltender issues, glitches, whatever. However, for everything that does wrong, NHL 19 does a lot right. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 5 things I want to see change for NHL 20 to make this game a little bit more relevant. Now this could be a wish list of sorts. It's not going to be a full wish list. I'm not going to talk about everything I want to see. But there is going to be a few things that I don't bring up that I feel definitely needs to be touched on. One thing I want to bring up is Draft Champions. Now I will be doing a separate video for Draft Champions alone for NHL 20. However, I do want to touch on one thing. Draft Champions in NHL 19? Absolutely irrelevant. There's no decent reward, not even a reward really. You, you get a player that is worse than their base card. Enjoy. Completely pointless. However, not only that, it wasn't kept updated. It seemed to be abandoned by the developers. I feel like Draft Champions could be a big deal in NHL 20 if they do it right. And I want to see it happen. One more quick tidbit. Hockey Ultimate Team. I like it this year. A lot of big changes. You get legends. You get challenges and objectives. That's cool. However, I'm done. I have all my legends. I have all my challenges done. I'm not going to do any more. Let's be real. NHL 20. Give me something more to grind for. Let's get into the actual video. Now, when it comes to the NHL series, I've been a guy that plays pretty much every game mode for every year. Doesn't matter if it's be a pro, franchise mode, I play shootouts. I have fun with the game. Now, Hockey Ultimate Team is my bread and butter. Hockey Ultimate Team is my big thing on my channel. The problem is, Hockey Ultimate Team lacks one thing to make it great. Goaltending. <laughs> When it comes to goaltending here in NHL 19, it's absolutely atrocious. It doesn't matter who you have in net. It doesn't matter what is happening. They suck. I can't name a single goalie that I enjoy using. Now, I can sit there and I can say, yeah, this goalie was good for me for three or four games. The problem is they start playing very, very badly. Terry Sawchuk is one of the greatest goalies of all time. These stats do not represent Terry Sawchuk. 3.81 goals against average. A 7 9 a 4 0 save percentage. He is a 95 overall goalie, supposed to be one of the best in the game. One of the highest overalls for sure. However, when you compare his stats to say, we'll go all the way down to my starting goalie of the year, I got in the free pack to start off NHL 19. That goalie is going to be Ty Conklin. Now we'll go all the way down to Ty Conklin and take a look at his stats 2.78 goals against. 80.65, save percentage. So yes, played a lot more games with Ty Conklin. However, he's still good. I still use him. Goalie stats don't mean shit in NHL 19. I need that to change. Now, I'm not a developer. I, I don't have anything to do with the actual game. But if it were up to me, I would turn up the difficulty for goaltending. I would make it impossible to score. You shouldn't be able to score 9, 10 goals a game, but that seems to be what's happening every game. There is a high scoring game, and that's fine. It's ultimate team. You have these great cards, 99 overall players. That's awesome. But the goaltending should match that. You have a 99 overall player who scores a lot. Great. Put a 99 overall goalie to make these saves. I feel like it's completely pointless. doesn't matter who you have in net. And when you have a silver goalie in net playing better than a 95 overall legend... It's a big issue. I'm going to end my point here. This will be part number one. But all I want to see in NHL 20 is goalies to matter. Point number two. Fix puck pickups. No, literally. That's it. I'm not going to say more than that. Fix it. For point number three, we're going to jump back into Hockey Ultimate Team. Now, obviously, I am a hut channel. It's my big game mode. However, I'm done grinding, like I had said. But there's one thing that kind of bothers me. The beginning of the year, we had all these different events. Whether it be Evo, Thanksgiving, whatever. We had some great events with different challenges and whatnot. The last three or four events have been copy-paste. Nothing different. Nothing's changed. The competitive seasons have been absolutely awful. It's just, it seems that they've kind of given up. The Thanksgiving sets. You could trade in collectibles and get players. You could trade in players to get better players. 
It wasn't super expensive. You could get some pretty good cards. It was cool. The team of the year set. Trade in 22 collectibles and get one of two players. All right. It's been like this for the last few events. Something needs to change. When it comes to competitive seasons, we used to get great players as rewards. We could get, whether it be a 92 overall player, a 94 overall player. I remember I got that 90 Besser. That's an awesome card. Now, play your heart out. Get the best you can for packs. And these packs are awful. The ultimate packs here in NHL 19 are not ultimate. The ultimate packs of years past were all gold rare players. The ultimate packs here in NHL 19, it's a mixture of players where you could get a few gold rare. That's not, a, that's not okay. Now, why would I grind for to be top five? For two ultimate packs, a player's choice pack, and a platinum pack, when I could just finish top 250 and still get an ultimate pack and a player's choice pack, which I'm probably not going to get anything in anyways. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't seem to matter. Now, Hut Champs has the right idea. You go in, you get a player. Top 100 gets a player. That's cool. Make something unique for these competitive seasons because people are just going to stop playing. So for point number three, keep each event different. No copy-paste. Don't keep doing the same thing. Change things up. Make things unique. Make each event feel special. That will keep people coming back. I am going to touch on something really quickly here. Make it 0.3.5, all right? Packs. We've, we've had a lot of talk about packs lately. They're too expensive and you get nothing good in them. That's a fair point. Packs are awful. But I need to point one thing out. In NHL 18, everyone complained about the market. The market was awful. So EA tried to fix that. Their way of fixing it, making ha cards harder to pull. It makes sense to me. It seems to have worked as the market in NHL 19 has been great. However, you can't have both. If every card was easy to pull, the market would be awful. Everyone would have that card. If the market's awful, everyone complains. So, pick one. Either packs are juiced, or the market stays strong. Now, I could go on about HUT. I could keep, I could sit here and make a whole video about HUT, and do what? I probably will in the future. However, I'm gonna back away from that for a little bit. Now, we were promised tons and tons of legends here in NHL 19. You can find them in Hockey Ultimate Team. You can find them in Play Now. You got the all-time all-stars, the Eastern Conference all-time all-stars. You got all these great cards and all these great players. The problem is, they're not in a lot of game modes. You can barely use them. In the future, yeah, we can use them in shootout mode. That's great. In the future, NHL 20, I would love to be able to use some of these players in franchise mode. Don't make me make them. Let me import them into the game. Could you imagine a Legends franchise mode? Now, YouTubers in the past have done this. It's been a lot of fun. I'd love to be able to do that in NHL 20. We have all these different Legends, hundreds of Legends and alumni in the game. And we can barely use them. Players like Marc Messier. I would love to use in franchise mode. Make me use him with Gretzky and McDavid. We look around, we can't add anyone to any teams. We can't change anything and that's all right. Free agents, 99, H. Hecker. Henry, the fact that you're in the game is absolutely awesome. And I didn't even know until doing this video that you were in this. This is absolutely the coolest thing ever. I love it. No, yeah, he's in the game, but let's make him a hut card too. I'm gonna be able to use him in hut. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just saying, I would love to be able to use all these players and not just hockey ultimate team and not just play now, but I wanna use them game wide. Not only that, I wanna use them for challenges. I want legend teams. Now I know this is gonna be difficult to do, but other games do have this, where you sit there and you can go against the 2002 Detroit Red Wings. If you beat them in a certain scenario, you get a reward. Stuff like that would make things so much more fun. Hut challenges are a great thing that we could have, actually. You wanna, wanna talk about this? Perfect. Boom. Complete the game, score a goal, take five shots. Pointless. Absolutely pointless. Give me a, a, a game mode. Give me a challenge where I have to play against the 2008 Stanley Cup winning Detroit Red Wings or 2009 Pittsburgh Penguins. I have to beat them. 
If I beat them, I get a reward. I don't care what the reward is. Give me a reason to play these games, obviously. But I, I think it would be extremely cool to go back and be able to watch these players go at it. Give Marion Hosa that big upgrade just for this challenge, you know? I just wanted to add in here, I think it would be really cool that if you had to play these players, say that you get that, that upgrade from Marion Hosa, I think it'd be extremely cool that the reward would be an upgraded Marion Hosa. It would be extremely difficult. Maybe you have to play a playoff series against them and win them. But I just think it'd be pretty cool to have uh, these different kinds of challenges and rewards. I just think it'd be extremely cool to be able to play legend teams. Go back and play the 80s Edmonton Oilers. Or the Montreal Canadiens of the 50s. How cool and how awesome would it be to be able to go up against these teams and try and beat them? Now there's a lot of things I could touch on here in this video. We can talk about pretty much anything. The last thing I do want to touch on is Be A Pro. This year's Be A Pro, to me, is so boring. It's been the same thing over and over the last few years. Um, I think we can all agree that it needs some work. I think it's time that we bring back Be A Superstar. If you had a story mode where you can sit there and create a player, go up through uh, juniors, something similar to Live The Life from the NBA 2K series, I think that would be extremely cool. Not only that, we could take something from MLB, create our player, we use them in Be A Pro, then we can move them over to the Hockey Ultimate Team and have our own custom player in HUT. Now that's just for me, I know that's something that we can do in MLB, something we've done in the past, but I think that would be extremely cool. You have to work with them, you have to play with them, you have to grind them and make his overall better if you want to use him in HUT. But I still think that would be extremely cool to have your own player in HUT. That's just me, I could be wrong on that, but I like it. Now imagine the opening graphic of Be A Superstar. You're skating on pond ice. You're out there playing some hockey with your dad or something. Who cares? Gretzky comes up, shakes your hand. You know who he is immediately. Says, one day you're going to be great. That's it. So all you need to do. I'm hooked. I'm into this game. I want to be the next great one. Now, it doesn't have to be that hard. It doesn't have to be that simple. I just want something different. Be a pro has been a big issue for a lot of people in the last few years. I think it's time we change that. Make Be A Pro a big thing here in uh, NHL 20. I feel like NHL 20 has a lot of potential, as NHL 19 did a lot of things right. NHL 19 was a great step forward for the series. It had a lot of different things that people have been asking for for a long time. NHL 20 needs to capitalize on that. I feel if NHL 20 is able to bring out some of the things that I said, it could be a great game. Now obviously we need more consistency in the game. That's a given. Puck pickups are something I brought up really quickly. That needs to be fixed. Goalies, let's be real, they suck. But other than that, the game's been pretty good. I've enjoyed myself here in NHL 19. I think NHL 20 could be an improvement. Now there's one more thing I'm gonna bring up, and that's going to be game engine. Whether it be Frostbite or the new engine for Madden, NHL should see an upgrade. Now are we going to here in NHL 20? I have no idea. But I think it's time that we move on from the current game engine and move on to at least the Frostbite engine, as we're a few years too late on that. That's not something I wanted to really put a full point on. It's not a lot to be said. It needs to be, it needs to be done. It needs to be implemented. Frostbite, here we come. Please. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And let me know down below what you think. Let me know if you have any thoughts or anything you want to change. And let me know what you want to see in NHL 20. Now, like I said, I will be doing another video in the future. Talking about Hockey Ultimate Team. All the different things I want to see change. Obviously, I am a hut channel. But if there's any suggestions you have, anything like that, let me know. And if you have anything you want to debate, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.